Anyway. Alright, we're back. Um, the desk is cleared out. Sort of. Uh, I should go without saying, don't obviously drill concrete or stone in a confined space like this without ventilation or evacuation systems. But, uh, yeah, we're just doing a video. So, um, I don't know. We're being, like, fairly safe here. All right. So we saw what this thing can do. This thing's a monster. I already know it's a monster. I, 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 I think it's going to beat this. But that's to be expected, so. Takes a bit off. Here we go. 3 sixteenths inch. <laughs> Was that an existing hole? <laughs> I was like, wow, I didn't have to pull the trigger. <laughs> Nothing set up here. Look how good the flex is! <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the flex, it doesn't have to hold. Oh man, it's a shame that I'm blind. Alright, here we go. Make sure in turbo mode, yep, everything's good. Here we go. It's one of those multi-point tips. It doesn't matter, it's all the same bit. That's why I use the same bit, so you get consistent testing. But this style of bit, even though it's a bigger bit, drills faster than the small one. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Better tip. Yeah, better tip. Well, screw not going this deep. That is true. But still, consistent. All right, well that pretty much settles it. Right? Oh, way slower. Right, it's way slower. So there's no point in even doing the big one. Sorry, I'm not do gonna do it. Do the big one. Do the big one. Do the big one. Hang I said let's do the big one. All right, we're gonna do the big one. But first, just we're on the same page here. Yeah, there's no, there's no comparison. Can't talk. Uh, no comparison. Let's see if the Milwaukee can beat it out. Let's put this in here for fun. Oh. Might be faster. It has the, has the multi tip.
seemed like you were trying harder. I was for sure trying harder, but yeah. holy moly. Um, it did better than expected. I, it did way better than I thought it would ever do. Damn. Might have been faster. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking that. I don't know why. Well, you were pushing way harder. I was pushing way freaking harder. You had your legs bent and everything. <laughs> uh, I was weight. laying on this thing. The other thing. one, you had your arms out in front for the first half. Most of the time. This thing's getting warm, too. Dude, give me that, uh... This thing's 131 degrees. Oh yeah, it was on turbo. This is uh. Should have worn your ear protection. Maybe about eighty. Yeah, it's pretty freaking loud in here. <laughs> what? Yeah, um, that was actually really surprising. But a few bars and it's pretty warm. We'll see if it stays in turbo mode. But this thing's just got really fast, really high RPM. You're gonna make sure we do this test right because I was laying on that thing, but still, I was laying on the flex. So let's just see. I got my safety crocs on. Here we go. I mean, that's that's pretty crazy, right? I, I sure as heck didn't think that it was even gonna be close. It's not on these, but it is on these. Yeah, I can't explain that. Can you explain that? I can't explain that. Maybe the harder hammer isn't isn't as effective at a very large surface area, oh, so that's when speed and makes it up. This thing is hot. Is it really hot on the truck? Oh, yeah. Might have ruined your fucking. Oh no, dude! I, this this thing has been so much abuse that uh, that's actually the goal here. Uh, One thirty on the chuck. Battery's still at a cool 60, uh, 75, 76 degrees, 79. One bar now. One bar. Uh, all right, well, we got some data. I can't explain the results. It seems like, and I won't know until I edit it, but it seems like the Flex does exceptionally well for a very large bit. And this thing's just better in every way obviously i mean it's bigger it's it's designed for concrete um but i knew this was a really good hammer drill and that still stands true uh this is an insanely good hammer drill this this thing's just groundbreakingly good i i don't think i've ever seen a tool do what this thing can do that's not like an sts with a proper size anvil for drilling and that would probably be because of the 4000 RPMs. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. This one really surprised me. I, I thought the, I thought this thing was just going to absolutely demolish this on every test but um, obviously this is still a better tool for concrete. Um, I'm just trying to see what's the limitations of this thing and where does it shine. Does harder concrete matter? Does faster um, 
you know, RPMs to sharper drill bits. What's the difference? This thing just pulverizes whether the bit is dull or whether the bit is sharp. This thing seems like it needs a sharper bit. But when it gets going, man, it, it really, it, the dust flies everywhere and it, it makes a quick hole. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. For sure, you know, we're, we're going to get some comments and questions about why didn't you do it this way? Why didn't you do it that way? Look, it's getting late. It's Saturday. My buddy's got to go. Um, we'll do another video. Leave your comments below on what you want to see differently. I try to get some 5,000 PSI uh, pavers. I'll try to get some piers for a foundation. We'll do uh, whatever you guys suggest, but this definitely isn't, you know, the final verdict. I'm not going to call a winner. Obviously, this thing won, but I'm not. We're not really declaring anything here. We're just doing this for numbers and times. So, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.